Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's featured Nightfall, which is Devil's Lair, which is one of my favourites all time, Destiny 1 and 2. I'm using Striker Titan, you can see all the fragments, aspects and abilities that I'm using. Tears of Contrition for Barrier, Limonok for Overload and Fixed Odds for Overload because Limonok is intrinsic. Uh, Surge Detonators and Bad Amplitude are the two, the main uh, two... Uh, two perks that I'm using, two mods that I'm using from the artifact. I'm using Helm of Innermost Light and that's to get my grenades back as quickly as possible because they're going to be really handy for us doing this run. So as I've already said, this this is actually one of my favourite uh, Nightfalls ever in Destiny 1 and 2. I think because it suits my game maybe? I, I don't know. It's just a really relaxing, quite quite a quite an enjoyable master. Uh, I ran this three times on Tuesday night, and I know I'm only just getting them out now. I've had a lot to do the last couple of days with going on holiday, which I can't wait. I go away, actually, I go away on holiday uh, tonight. So I'm going to be gone for two weeks. And uh, so I'm going to put all three of the Nightfall runs out today. That's this Nightfall, which is my Titan. I've done a Hunter one, and I've done a featured Nightfall. Obviously, I do the themed Nightfalls. Uh, and that this week's theme is, is King's Fall, so I actually went a little bit overboard with the King's Fall run because uh, uh, I, I would say a little bit overboard. I went a little bit in depth. I used full King's Fall armor as well. So let's talk a little bit about the strike. To get into the strike, you literally have to sparrow to the opening, but you have to kill that overload to make sure that you get uh, platinum, which is how you get the big rewards. Once you've killed that overload, this is it's kind of the... I always kind of view the Nightfalls in this way. This is the prelude. This is almost like the beginning section. I don't even class this actually as part of the Nightfall. So uh, you're going to have a barrier here. Now you can see we've got the bad amplitude on him. That's why he's glowing kind of arc. What, basically what that will do is if you hit a champion with any arc ability, it basically ap applies... Uh, it, it jolts them, so when you do more damage to them, it sends out lightning, which uh, which will chain to other adds. And, it, and and if you're dealing with champions, which to be fair, most of the time champions they are a little bit, uh, you know, help me, help me, you know, they'll stand next to all the adds. So I figured I I kind of enjoy using that if I'm being honest. Uh, I enjoy using the bad amplitude, so. But also, you can see there, for some reason, that the, the Overload was already amped. He already had... Uh, he'd already been affected by it. So once you kill that barrier and kill all the adds, you'll come to this section, in which case you'll have a Wizard, but you'll have another Overload. There's quite a lot of Overloads in this strike. And then move further down, clear those adds. Be careful when you get to the stairs we've just passed. Once you get to those stairs, you will then activate the the wave of thrall that will come out of the the door just be careful you don't go too far past that and, and completely forget about those guys then once you take that barrier we've just taken then this is this is kind of the residual ads that are here uh and what you want to do is you want to clear them to start what i would think of the way i class it this is starting the nightfall proper now Let's talk about build-up of enemies, or, or make-up of enemies. You're going to have a lot of snipers in this area, a lot of dregs, and quite a few overloads. In fact, if I remember correctly, you literally are only going to have one barrier in this area. So, the ho this, is, this is your first uh, mechanic. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be defending three waves of enemies. So I always come down here because I've got, I've got chase. I've got uh, really easily at accessible uh, uh, cover. Now I threw a grenade there because I preempted the first wave of ads with the first overload. Now in this first wave, all you'll have is an overload. You'll have one overload. That is, that is the, the makeup of it. Where we're standing now, no ads will push down to this. They will not come up to you here. Now they will push down in front of you. But they won't come here. So this is easily accessible uh, uh, cover. You'll always have in the first wave. You'll always have a bunch of vandals up on the left. 
And as you'll see here, we get this bunch of dreg from, from the left as well. Once we've cleared that bunch of dreg, then we're going to get our first wave of shanks. Now with this wave of shanks, we'll have exploders. One, one of the intrinsic uh, modifiers is that the shanks have solar. Hence why I'm using a solar machine gun. Machine guns are really good. I, I probably haven't given enough playtime uh, or as much playtime as they deserve, but I am really, really enjoying uh, machine guns. So once you take to, taking those out, you're you're always going to have this taken captain up at the back here. Uh, I thought he was further away, but it's all cool because we chained the lightning to him because there was a vandal there. So once we kill him, that's the way we've fallen. So. Uh, Vandals up at the back, va up, up on the ledge. Everything else kind of comes out. Everything makes itself available to you. Now we've got Hive. Hive with Fallen. And in this Hive section, you see we've got Fallen at the back. I threw a grenade, preempted the ads coming out, the wizards. Now once you take these three wizards, that's kind of the heavy duty. See, I'm going to thunder crash here. But I actually messed this up, because, and, and I'll, I'll explain why. Right, and that's why. See, I got hit big there, because when I when I exploded all the shields, I actually thought that all the ads would. I thought all, the the wizard was dead. So I've decided, forget about the barrier. I need to take this wizard. I need to make sure that the wizard wizard is gone. So make sure if you're gonna go after this barrier really quickly, just make sure that the wizards are gone because. 50% additional arc damage. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants to be going out when you're when you're taking heavy arc, especially from a wizard. You see that that's the wizard just dying. And I, I'm not sure if I chained damage to the wizard. Uh Lemon Arc, obviously brilliant. The Lemon Arc burn will go through shields. No, you know. It won't melt shields. It's not like you don't need to have the shields covered. But it's it's less of a less of a problem. Uh chaining those uh Chaining the the arc, getting the ampli the 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 jolted effect, it's so good. And then you can see here, I'm getting this uh, this little arc friend, <laughs> this uh, ionic trace is coming after me, and that gives me a bit of my abilities back. I am running a little bit of a an elemental well build just to try and get grenades back faster. But that is one of the reasons I've got the helm of innermost light on because if I put it down my grenades become even more powerful like the titan needs that uh oh my god it's such a shame lightning grenades don't kill bosses on their own but anyway i've put it on it helps me get my abilities back faster i haven't had to use it just yet so you can see there once i took out the majority of the taken then what i got was uh another wave of the throw as soon as that wave of uh, uh shanks as soon as that wave is gone get back here because now you are going to have and this is going to be the only time it's really going to happen in this run is you're going to get a heavy duty amount of ads pushing down in front of your uh, defendable cover and with them as you can see quite clearly on your screen there will be two overloads they're very easy to deal with if like, like most of the things in, 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 in destiny if you're proactive instead of reactive then you can very easily deal with them. You can see I've also got uh, I've also got the the mod on that uh, makes the whales come to me. I can't I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it, all the mods I show off all the mods at the start. Uh, is it Ionic something or I can't remember what it's called. Basically, any wells that I produce, any elemental wells, and I'm producing them all from elemental ordnance. So the, all the wells that I'm producing are all coming from uh, grenade kills. And I think I've got uh, bountiful wells on, so I get an extra well for each mod. So if I've got two mods on, I get four wells. That's about 75% of your grenade. So you'll, that's probably the reason why I haven't used a lot of the chest of innermost light because it's the only thing i'm using it for is to get my abilities back but the wells are giving me my abilities back no problem once you take that wave out that is that section completed 
So that was three waves, so you get one overload in the first wave and a bunch of throw, a bunch of vandals. Second wave, you get some hive, but you get an, a, a, a barrier once you take the majority of the wizards out. In the hive, you get the barrier. And then the third wave, you get two overloads. And, and it's kind of it's kind of a mix with the Fallen. It's a mix of where the Fallen are in wave one and two. So you get those snipers up on the, the left-hand side, but you also get that heavy-duty sniper at the back. And then you get a heavy-duty sniper and a kind of small vandal sniper just round the corner to the left. Once you've cleared that, you come out to this area we've just passed. There'll be an overload, there'll be some ads. Then you come here. Now, this is the next real mechanic. This is the next new objective. Now, the first thing you've got to really, if you're going to follow this run, the first thing you've got to kind of adhere to is where that building is that we're aiming at right now. If you don't want to aggro, if you don't want a build up of ads, do not go past the front. And when I say the front, our, you know, the side closest to us, the face of it. Do not go past that until you are ready to bring the next wave of ads in. Because if you do, then you're going to end up with a build up of overloads and barrier, uh, barriers. And you're also going to have the tank and you're going to have the brakes. So what I tend to do, you see, I took, I came out and I took the two snipers on the building first. I'm going to throw a grenade down there and I'm going to take this vandal sniper. Now, I'm looking at my... See, I'm still aiming. I'm looking at my... We're good now. I'm looking at my mini-map to see if there are any red dots still down there, if I'm getting any ads. So, you see here, there's a couple of these sniper vandals. I like to get rid of those. Now, I'm still getting bite marks. The, the, the monarch is still biting something. Now... I'm going to throw a grenade down, clear all the ads down there if I can. Now, it will stop the overload, unfortunately, because because I've got uh, the mod on my chest plate. And uh, my, my class item that, that stops them, what's it? Surge Detonators, that's the one. It stopped the, over, the overload, but it stopped them in such a place that I couldn't actually do anything. You see there, Lemon Arc is still probably... I, I, I'm going to be honest, I like machine gun... Uh, oval. I like the overload machine gun, but I doubled down on overload because they're just, it's still really kind of uh, icky. You know, there's something about overloads where they say, oh yeah, 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 use this, and you use it, and it's absolutely pointless. You know, it, it's like over, overload machine gun is brilliant, but it doesn't really work with uh, some of the some machine guns. It doesn't work with... Uh, it doesn't work with Xenophage. I can understand why it doesn't work, because quite clearly says in the description, you have to put sustained fire. And and to be honest, that's not really, you know, I, the way I take it that they mean it is just keep hitting it. Just keep hitting the enemy to stop it. And Limonok has a little bit of a delay between its damages. So... We've took out the overload in front of us. We've took out all the snipers up on the platform where we're expecting the Fallen Walker to come. We've took out the snipers to the right. We've took the ads that were to the left of where we are. We know all we've got, and you can quite clearly see what we've got. We've got a barrier. But I'm being very careful that I'm not going past the front of this building. Because if I do, then my chances of being able to do something with the barrier are, uh, are not so good. So you see, I'm just trying to keep them broken. I'm not actually trying to do a ton of damage right now. My thing with these barriers and with champions is if I do do some damage, I don't want to give the champion a chance to regenerate their health. Now, my scout rifle has triple tap and enhanced triple tap, enhanced explosive payload. It's one of my favorite primary uh, scout rifles in the game, Tears of Contrition. And... It was one of the first kind of weapons I actually decided I was going to build. Because I really liked the way it felt. It feels like a really nice scout rifle. Very easy to fire. So, I'm just going to throw that grenade over there. So, once once I took the barrier, I jumped up here, made sure I took the last of the dregs. And then, by coming up here, I knew that I, I put myself in a position where all the ads were going to come in. Now, see that tank over there? Where we are now... That tank can't hit us. If you move too close to the to this kind of pipe section at the other side of the building, that is what's blocking the shots. So don't move too quick. 
too close and you'll see here I've thrown my grenade, my grenade's searching the boss and then I've got it back, my grenade hasn't even hit him yet uh, because I put down, put down a, a, I tossed down a barricade, helm, helm of it most like, you know, I don't have to work, you know, it really does increase the recharge rate. Now, what I was looking for there was the ship coming in, the ship's bringing an overload and some, some, some ads in, just grab that heavy. Make sure you're not on the building when the ships come. There's two ships that are going to come in, 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 in intervals. Make sure you're not there. Just put another barricade down. And just increase the recharge rate and damage of the grenade. And we'll just Kobe a grenade all the way over to the boss. You see there it does decent damage. It's it's hitting them for you know multiple big numbers. And now I'm just going to whittle them down. I'm not bothering. And you, you might have noticed. I'm not bothering about the brigs too much. Because where we are, whenever you enter any area, you have to pinpoint what the danger is. What what the now there will be da more than one danger, but there'll be the immediate danger. You know, uh, pick any strike you want, pick any section you want. There'll be one ad that you're like, I kind of need to stay away from that boss, that mini boss, that champion, the tank in this area. Is, is what I decided was the problem. So even though there were Briggs, even though there's champions, even though there's other ads, I kind of thought, well, maybe I should just get rid of this boy. And that's what I went for. So I was intermittently throwing, I had thrown a few grenades at the Brig, and now I'm going to get rid of the Briggs. I'll use my grenades, and now I'm going to pop my super, and can watch this completely mess, but... Went 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 around him and 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 quite <laughs> went around him in quite a fashion there. It was like, wait, oh, he thought I was gonna hit you there. You're in trouble, you boy. <laughs> and and then hit him. Okay, I did actually hit him. And the great thing about Thunder Crash is uh, you get basically uh, you get a big hit, big hit damage. We're not getting the maximum because we don't have. Uh, we don't have the cuirass of the fallen star on. There is a sniper that's decided he wants a bit. I can I can see him, but I can't see him. There's the ship. This is the second ship. Now, because of what we've done, we took the Briggs and we've took this and we took that. The ship just kind of passed us by. So I'm trying to get an angle on this overload. I'm just backing away here because there's two snipers that are they are DPSing me from a range I'm not used to snipers from they're hitting me from. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about it because there are a few activities I've been doing recently that I've noticed they they don't, you know, they're not playing by the rules. King's Fall, don't get me started. I can't believe that they bring back a flag flagship raid like that and so much rubbish happens in that raid, you know. But uh, I'm sure they'll get on it. I'm not going to be that guy. F Bungie. Not F Bungie. You know, <laughs> just can, can we get that sorted? So what we've done is that first ship that came in, let's, let's just circle back to that. We came out, we had a barrier. And we had a bunch of ads around the barrier. Once we took the barrier, and a little tip about taking the barrier, as I've already said, take the two snipers on the building. That will make your life tons easier. Then we took the snipers to the right, took the snipers to the left. Then once we went past, we took that overload that was down behind the building without going in front of the building. Then we worked our way up. We brought in the tank, the two brigs, some other ads. We took the barrier as well that was in the centre before we'd done that. Then I focused on the tank, took out the overload. I took out the brigs, took out then the overload, make sure you take the snipers, and then we moved forward because we're going to get another two overloads. Overload city, guys. Uh, and, we, and we made sure that we dealt with those. So it's step by step. I I honestly, and I, I still believe that the thing that you've really got to worry about in that big room is the tank. So that is why I decided the tank was, should be the focus. When, I, when we come to the boss, so we are at the boss now. As soon as you come in, you're going to have two overloads, right? 
I'm just going to fire my stuff here. I go into the little room. The little room that you saw me in. Because it gives me cover. And I used my grenades with Surge Detonator to take out the the overloads. Uh, just throw a grenade over there, try and clear some of these enemies. We've got the solar shielded shanks. And, why, hello there. I, th I don't think he lets me shoulder charge him. He runs away. Because he's arc. Oh, here he comes. I've got a grenade for him anyway. Yep, he's he really he doesn't know what he wants to do. I know what he wants to do. He he didn't know he wanted to die, but you know it's unfortunate, but he did. So what happened here? We came in, I took out the overloads from inside this room, and that activates the boss because I had my super. And you will have noticed I tried not to use my super too much, even though with the modifier that I'm doing this on. Our arc abilities recharge faster, uh, but we take more arc damage. Now, I I, circ I I I was prepared to take a little bit more arc to do a little bit more arc, uh, and then I fired my super at the boss, which direct hit, twenty five percent extra arc damage even without cuirass, uh, was enough to to send him to his first cocoon phase, trademark pending. That is my word for <laughs> cocoon, the cocoon phase. Once you put the boss into the cocoon phase, he's got these four servitors that go around him, and they're kind of like generators for his shield. They keep his shield propped. So, the idea is take them out, take down the shield. You will get waves of shanks intermittently, right? Now, you see, I've got my super again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this last... Even if you don't intend on taking doing damage to the boss, <clears throat> make sure you take down some of the servitors, because if you don't... Let's fire a super at him before he runs away. If you don't take some of the servitors, while you're trying to do your business, mostly from inside this room, the servitors will just keep hitting you. So, we haven't quite... We haven't quite... Uh, we haven't quite put him to his cocoon phase. So what I'm doing now is just... These are all heavy duty... Uh, uh, rev, uh, resilient uh, drag and uh, vandals. There are some... I think there are some... There, there, as you can see, there's some invisible boys right there. There are some uh, some invisible mid-orders. So I'm just... There's a cut... There's two... You'll always get... With, the, with this wave, you'll always get two arc shielded captains, right? So, one of them sometimes comes after you, right? You've seen it at the start, he came after me. Him. So, unfortunately for him, I put my barricade up and he backed right into it, which a kind of cool side effect from the, the barricade is it blinds anything that runs through it. It's a good thing. I, I don't see too many people do it, but it is a great thing to put your barrier in front of where you, like if, if you get ads that are going to pour out of a doorway, stick a barrier in front of the doorway and blind them the minute they come out. People don't use that so often, but it's a great tactic. Going all the way back, we used to use that to solo uh, uh, Prison of Elders, the level 35 boss. Anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about this. You On this wave, what you will get you see the bosses. I don't really want to use my thunder crash again, but I will because if I, you know, if, it, if I find it necessary, I will, and I did. So, bang, I will get it back. That puts the boss in his cocoon phase. So we've had two big waves. We've got intermittent solar waves of solar uh, shanks. The first wave was just, you know, some ads. Second wave was a lot of resilient uh, fallen. The third wave, this wave, now we've got two overload champions. And you see here, I'm just going to put this grenade on them. Uh, the grenade will do damage. What used to happen before with these overloads is, one of them would run away and be like, No! I want nothing to do with what's happening here. And you would have to wait. She couldn't come out and do damage. It was, it was you know, well, it was good times. <laughs> it was good times waiting for this shank to come, waiting for this overload and he would teleport downstairs and run away again the grenades hold him in place because they stop him so quickly i don't know what it is about the arc grenades with surge detonator but it didn't work so well with solar so that's maybe something bungie needs to look at that the solar grenades 
even area of effect. I don't know if it's because they apply, they don't actually do like hard hit and bang damage like the Arc do. They, they almost apply, you know, it's an effect because it's a burn. So I don't know if that class is its impact. Whereas Arc, that first pulse off an Arc grenade, whether it's a pulse grenade, whether it's, whether it's a storm grenade, uh, I'm just putting the grenade on him because hopefully, I was hoping it would share to this guy here. I'll just fire our super. Lovely time in there. I don't know if it's because it doesn't do what would be classed as impact damage, but solar grenades just ain't it. Uh, I threw my grenade. I preempted the ads coming in. Now, here's the thing with this, right? You could actually just go after the boss. You could go down underneath where we are now and you could just put it on the boss. I, on the other hand, have decided, because I am a tyrant, that I want everything here dead. Everything here is dead. I'm just going to put a few shots on the boss, and then we're going to finish him with what heavy. And that, guys, is Solo Master Nightfall on the Titan. So as I've said at the start of the video, uh, I've done... Uh, all three of my characters have done the, this is the Titan one, I've done the Hunter one which will go up next and I've done my themed King's Fall one spoiler, I didn't use Touch of Malice and I have Touch of Malice I'm yeah, I, I just wanted to do a run with weapons some people might have, I will use Touch of Malice in the future but I, I just never used it in this run, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, a like rating would be great if you did, uh, these will be the last videos for two weeks Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.